so many people hate the rejection that they'll do anything to get out of prospecting. But I think if people called prospecting instead of prospecting, if you called it the funnel filler, yeah, yeah, then yeah, you yeah. have to admit, I didn't do anything to fill my funnel today. That sounds pretty crappy. But if you say, I didn't prospect today, oh, I'll just do it tomorrow. So you just got to get into that mindset of just do your little bit. And really, eight conversations is not that challenging. I like bringing that up more and more is that as the world has shifted to include this other medium, it's not just cold calling. Now, cold calling, no. everything from what I've seen still is the heart of so many people's businesses. And yeah. uh, it is the predictable, reliable mechanism that helps people build their businesses. And, you know, what else do you do? And so that's actually how we met as I started seeing you uh, show up in our feed. I'm like, who is this guy? He's he's animated. He's positive. He's got a great attitude. You know, you seem like an authentic, genuine person, and it really comes through. And I, and in fact, you know, a testament to social is that that's how you can broadcast your authenticity. Yes. I think that's how people want to do. Like in, in essence, we're doing business together right now. You know, there's not any exchange of money, but we're exchanging time, and that's a form of yep. currency that is the precursor to dollars uh, in in any in any business. So yeah. yeah, I just wanted to maybe spend a couple of seconds right now before we really get into the, the heart of the show today. And for everybody watching, I'm Justin Zimmerman. I am uh, the director of content here at Red X. We try to put on a show for you as often as possible, just like this. I call it the place for prospecting, live prospecting. I'm here with Joe Rosen, who is a fantastic individual, as you've already heard a little bit in the pre-roll. If you haven't oh. followed him on social, you'll see him with Ricky Carruth and other great minds in our space right now. And this is an opportunity for you to kick back, watch the screen, or take notes and lean in and pick up the phone. Uh, depending on where you are, where your mindset is, this is a great opportunity to see how prospecting works to get into the mindset of if it works, if you work, it works. That's kind of a little <clears> saying <throat> we throw around yep. here. And that it's not scary, it's not easy, but watching other people like Joe take it on, uh, I've seen it give so many other agents courage to try new things, to pick up the phone, and to not be afraid of the easiest thing, which really is that first call. I'm sorry, that's not yep. the easiest thing, but getting through <clears> that, it becomes easier. And so, uh, this is an opportunity we come on here to bring great people like Joe on to help you see inside what prospecting looks like. If you're already a seasoned expert prospector, then you'll feel like you're in great company and I'll give you a little motivation, some additional ideas. In fact, I get messages all the time from uh, prospectors who were on the show who watch other prospectors learn something new. And so it's kind of like a, a product and toy for all ages. So Joe, welcome to the show. Thanks for taking time. I love the background. You totally had me faked out. Uh, that, that's, that, that's, a, that's a dope setup. I want to live there too. And so um, uh, give us a quick little bit about you and we'll roll from there. Yeah, I, uh, I sold in Minnesota. That's where I'm from for I think it was five years, six years for a place called Edina Realty. And it was in St. Cloud, which is center of the state. And uh, I was a top 2% guy, which sounds great, but really there were only 850 realtors. So in an area like that, it, it really, I don't know. I, I think I was making maybe 150 um, and I was doing well, but I was in my twenties. I wasn't very responsible. And so it didn't matter what I made. I spent more than what I made every single month. Yeah. I had no discipline at all. So I ended up hooking up with um, my now wife's best friend had just gotten back from Iraq and she was on a 22 month deployment. Oh my God. So we, we all went out partying and the next morning we were all just sitting there kind of chit chatting and I just had like 3000 questions for her about the army and her deployment and you know what happens and how does it really work. And then two weeks later I was at MEPS and uh, they'd signed me up and I was in the army. So I put uh, 10, almost 11 years in the Army. And uh, when I was 18 months out from getting out of the Army and into real estate, I I'd known, I knew that I wanted to get into real estate. So I started to build my plan because I remember the first time I got in, there were so many things that I wanted set up, that I wanted to do, money that I wished I'd had to do, you know, Red X or my constant contact or, you know, my postcards, whatever it was. But I just wasn't set up for success. And you're so busy, I can never catch up, you know? So I had 18 months to get the money straight, to get the programs, the systems, the, the everything set up. Uh, really cranked out the social media because I couldn't prospect. Uh, you know, what am I going to do? If I get you, I can't go show you a house. I'm not even licensed. Right. So I really hit the uh, the social media hard, and which has paid dividends. Um, 
And then when I got down here, I'm in Port St. Lucie, Florida. I literally did a, a coffee and a lunch every single day with somebody uh, for the first probably 15, 16 weeks. This is week 19 for me down here in Port St. Lucie. And I feel like I'm crushing it, man. I mean, I'm still hitting rookie numbers. It's the, the first year is always tough, but uh, I am so – my funnel is full, baby. And I tell you, yeah. just a testament to you guys, I, I've done everything. I've done expireds. I've done cold calls. I've done FISBOs. I've done open houses, networking groups, you name, first-time home buyer, expos. I don't remember what I called them. Um, but I've done it all. And really anything will work. It all works. It all has its success. But – Per minute invested, huh. cold calling for me is just the way to go. And not only is it is it great per minute, like like you get the most out of it per minute, but it's also just all the organization that you guys have with with uh, I don't know what it's called, the vortex or whatever, wherever all that information is held, I, I can make my my um, farm mailing list for Vistaprint off of there. I can. Go back to it. So I, I will do my farm and then I'll go do two, three other subdivisions and then I'll come back and I'll do my farm again and then I'll do two, three other subdivisions and then I'll come back to my farm and do it again. So I'm always hitting that farm, but then when I get sick of the farm or they, they get sick of me, then I go and talk to another subdivision just to kind of switch it up a little bit. And it's just the organization you're able to have because of what you guys have is amazing. It's amazing. It's not like opening up the phone book and going down there. It's not like getting numbers from other places. The data you guys have is just incredible. And they did not pay me to say that, by the I way. I was just it, about to it, say, it I, yeah, you know, it's just I amazing you on because of your, your enthusiasm and energy yeah. and where you are in your business and uh, just driving it back to that is a lot of people are like, think that you have to be so skilled so many years into the business to reach a level where your competence and confidence are productive and valuable and yeah. I'm here with you right now because you're the person who's demonstrating that 18 months in with the right mindset the right energy the right attitude and thank you for filling in the whole beginning about the tools and the product and you know I, I stay away from that because I want people to watch this with this uh, with yeah. a clear heart and mind knowing that this isn't about selling our mm. products or services is demonstrating the concepts in action. Go choose anybody. I don't anybody, care. Like, anything. I don't care. Just do you'll, it. Just, just do it. Right. That's yeah. you'll, and then through action, you'll have a like a, a finer taste of what works, what doesn't work, and hopefully that leads back to us. Right. You yep. know, that, I'm not, not going to hold that back. But I, I will say that all that matters right now is that if you're new in your business, new to your market, or you're looking for a upgraded perspective from somebody who's been there and done that from where you've been to and where you're at now, that's what matters most in, in today's demonstration and today's show. And so um, if you could <clears throat> tie it into um, some recent successes you've had with uh, with prospecting, some leads, some listings, some appointments, uh, give us a little quick, like what's, what's got you motivated and energized right now? Yeah. So for me, I mean, for me, it's all about filling that funnel. I, I think so many realtors uh, salesmen of any type, honestly, they want the sale right now. And I'll tell you through experience 10, 15 years ago, uh, probably nine out of the 10 sales that I'm going to do off of, say, Red X, uh, it's going to start with, hey, is there anything I can do for you? No. Okay. Like that's how it starts nine out of 10 yeah. times. And then you'll say, you know, whatever, however the conversation goes, I'm not overly scripty. I mean, I've got my script, but I'm not overly scripty. But I'll just say, okay, I, you know, I heard a little hesitation in there. Is there something you're thinking about or what's going on with that? Well, you know, maybe if this happened and that happened, I would do it, but not for six months. Okay, sounds good. Would you mind if I stayed in touch with you and I'll call you three, four, five months down the road? We'll kind of see where you're at. And then you follow up with them. And you, like I said, you fill the funnel, man. Keep that funnel full. I love it. And man. if you keep up with those people, they turn into sales. And I think a lot of people who don't keep up with them, don't have a CRM, uh, don't have a way of following up with, with all the people that they're getting from someone like Red X, uh, they're only closing that one out of 10 deal, the easy one, the low hanging fruit. And they're complaining that cold calling sucks, expired sucks, FISBO suck. And maybe you suck. Like you just, you, you got to get some training, yeah, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and, and I'm not picking on everybody listening. I mean, I've sucked too. Like we've all sucked. And, and the only way to get over the suck is to just do it and make those mistakes. I guarantee we're going to do some cold calls here. I yeah. guarantee the first five, 10 calls I make 
are not going to be as smooth as the next 10 I make. Like, and it's every day. I do this every day. You just, you have to be not just okay with it, but just fall in love with making mistakes. Yeah, uh, you got a little nervous at the beginning when I said quotes, and I told you, we, we promised, <laughs> you, all you had to do was be yourself, and we were going to find one. It's, you know, I think, isn't that a line from uh, the the movie, uh, you know, Coffee's for Closers? Maybe you suck. I think that's part of that line, right? <laughs> I don't but know. it's true, right? Yeah, you, yeah. Well, I, I just, that was, that was good. That was good. That could be a quote that we, we pull out. Is it, oh, is it boy. inspired? Or is it you? And and often and a lot of times it is it's the person's perspective more than yeah. it is um, the product. Yeah. So why don't you take us to the next part of our gathering here today and um, tell us what we're going to work, who we're going to call, what what sure. we should expect and hear and see from you over the next oh thirty five to forty five minutes. Yeah. So this is my farm. Uh, so for anybody out there who doesn't know what a farm is, a farm, for me, this is my definition, is an area of homes that you are consistently coming back to. So for me, I want to call these people twice a year, right? Um, and for me also, when I'm doing cold calls, geo leads, uh, a lot of times I won't leave a message because I just want to fly. I want to get the, the one-to-one, right? Um, but in my farm, I will because I want to leave that branding on their voicemail, if they don't pick up for five years, that's 10 times they've heard me on their voicemail. That's branding, baby. I want that. Yeah. Um, so I will leave a voicemail on my farm. This is a 55 plus community. It is the second rated 55 plus community in the nation. Uh, it's a stunning, stunning area. The homes in there sell for about 230 on the low end up to like the upper threes for a really nice one. Uh, mm-hmm. Our median price point in this city is about 240. So it's average to higher end, which is great. That's what, that's where yeah. I want to be. Um, I try to focus on the, the midpoint of the bell curve and then a little bit over it, right? So you're getting a little bit pricier homes, uh, generally a little bit better clients. It's a little bit easier deal. Um, but you're right around that, that price point that's actually going to sell. Yeah. Uh, I've called about, let me see how many I've got left. I've probably called, this is the first time going through because like I said, I'm on week 19. But uh, I would say I've called through about eighty-five percent of them, yeah. and I've I've only got um, about fifteen percent left. My math is slow, buddy. But uh, yeah, so that's who we're calling today. And generally speaking, uh, here's one issue that you're gonna—I guarantee we're gonna get a couple of these today. Uh, can I go over my script? Yeah, definitely. We we yes. get asked that question, yeah, dozens of times. So I'm a, I'm a Ricky Caruth lover. I love the guy. We've become great friends. We do a show every Tuesday. It's live. It's on YouTube. It's on his channel and it's a call in show. So if you're a realtor, you got some questions and you want to ask a guy who by himself is making a million dollars gross a year, go check that out. But, uh, we love his whole, yeah, Ricky's amazing, man. Yeah. Uh, and he promotes also Red X. I mean, he thinks you guys are the best data and, uh, you've just got a great, great system there. But, uh, his whole script is, is basically what I've taken for myself, and it's just starting off with, hey, Jim, and I've got their name right there so I can see it. Hey, Jim, uh, and then they'll say, yeah. Hey, this is Joe Rosen with Keller Williams. How you doing? Good. And then you say something to try to build rapport, and I think this is the thing that most people don't do because it feels a little weird. It feels a little awkward, yeah. um, but honestly – Just go for it because the people who it's going to be weird and awkward with, it's going to be weird and awkward no matter what, right? It's just not going to happen. That call isn't going to happen. That person doesn't like you already. So you're already out of luck, right? You got to think about the people that you do have a shot with. Yeah. And with those people, that's going to help you warm up to them. So just say, you know, like uh, I'll say, hey, Bob, this is Joe Rosen with Keller Williams. How you doing? Uh, Doing good. Awesome, man. I'm doing great, too. I see it's sunny out, so I'm wishing I was outside, but I got about a half an hour more uh, more of work to do, and then I'm going to get out there, man. But, hey, I don't want to waste too much of your time. Uh, I just want to let you know that I see you're on 3rd Street, and there was a home right down the street from me that had sold 10 days ago. And I literally have – I'll go to the, the subdivision that I'm looking at, and I'll pull up all the solds in the last 30 days because a lot of times the question is, which home was it? And so I'll pull one up, and sometimes the response is, oh, that one's six blocks down the street. Okay, well, I see another one here, and it's on uh, Aqua Vista. 
how far is that one from here? Oh, that one's two blocks away. Yeah, well, that one sold for two eighty nine nine, and and it just starts that conversation, you know. And then I can start asking them. Well, anyway, so here's my script. Uh, there was a home that sold uh, down the road from you, and I was just calling to see if there's anything in the world I can do for you. And then you just shut up. Mm. And then a lot of times, if it goes, you know, well, you just kind of go with the conversation, try to get an appointment, whatever. Uh, if it doesn't go well and they're like, no, okay, cool. Well, I'll tell you what, if you were to do something down the road, is there a realtor you'd use? That way you can nail that. I mean, if they're already married to somebody, you mm -hmm. don't want to waste your time. You don't want to step on the toes of the people in your area, you know, like just respect it, move on. Why, why would you invest time in people that already love somebody, right? Um, but if they do hesitate and they're like, well, you know, we sold with, Jim Johnson and, you know, I'd be like, well, you hesitate a little bit there. We're, you know, were you happy with Jim? And, I, you know, I'll kind of get into that. And if there's an opening, I'll go for it. Um, but then I'll say, okay, great. Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, last question. Would you mind if I stayed in touch with you between now and whenever you do decide to do something? Uh, and if they say yes, I instantly say, great. What's a good email for you? And then I take their email address and I put it into constant contact and they're on my weekly email for the rest of their life. That's great. And even if they don't open my email for three years, they're going to see every Wednesday that little tagline, right? You get a one-liner, and they're going to delete it, and that's great because it says Joe Rosen, Keller Williams, Joe Rosen, Keller Williams, Joe Rosen, Keller Williams, every single Wednesday. Uh, and they're going to expect it every single Wednesday after three years. They're going to know that this guy is consistent, man, and they're going to think you're consistent in everything else. So I really look at it like I, I think everybody's gunning for that appointment, but they don't necessarily have a backup plan, a plan B. What if I don't get the appointment? Then you just drop it and it's gone, right? And I say, hey, if I get the appointment, great. If I don't get the appointment, at least I got the email. I can put them on there, and then I got marketing for life. I think consistency is that aspect of both showing up every day and picking up the phone, which generates now business. And yeah. I feel like that's a big missing part, and it's super simple. Like you're capturing it, and it doesn't matter whether it's a constant contact system or just putting it inside of your Gmail or even yes. inside of Red X, um, just Whatever. asking for that piece of information and showing up every single week or every two weeks with, man, that guy just always always shows up. Yep. You know, out of the, out of the, out of the 100 realtors that call them over the next X number of months, like you're going to be the one name that survives, you know, the time in which all those people disappeared. Absolutely. Yeah. Can I make one more pitch? Go for it. If you haven't watched, Ricky had a show with a guy named, I think his name was Quintavious. And this guy, have cool you seen name. it? No. That's yeah, cool yeah. This, this dude's a rock star, man. So he was a big uh, college football player. He was a stud. So he's got something I don't have. A lot of people watching don't have. But I don't care, man. This dude did 100 real estate deals in his first year. It was crazy. Wow. 100 deals. So to even find somebody who, if you handed him the deals, could keep that organized, right, he could right. learn how to do the paper, like that's crazy to me. But he did it, and this guy was disciplined, he was hardworking, and he had a four-point system. And this is my pitch for, for anybody watching this, right? Whatever it is you do, I don't care if it's cold calling, expires, fidsbos, uh, open houses, whatever it is, try to get four points a day. That's the goal. And this is, I'm literally stealing his system. So all credit to Quinn Davies. He's an amazing guy. Uh, he's out of, I can't remember what small town he's out of. I can't remember. It doesn't matter. But if you get a signed contract, a pending contract, right? Buyer and seller came together. Everybody signed. Boom, that's four points. If that's done at 9 a.m., you can call it a day. You're good to go, right? Two points is a listing. Signed. You got to get it signed. You get that listing signed. Boom, two points. Your day's half over already. Piece of cake. Love it. If you have a face-to-face with someone that you've never talked to about real estate, that's a point, right? So that can be showings, it could be a listing appointment, it could be a buyer consult, it could be literally taking them out to coffee and just saying, hey, is there anything I can do for you? That's yeah. a point. And then a half point is a non-face-to-face -face interaction where for me, the, the have to for it to count is I have to say, this is Joe Rosen with Keller Williams. If I get that out and they're still on the phone, it's a half a point. I've done that before in 15 calls, and I've been off in like nine minutes, right? And my day's done. I got my eight points. Eight half points is four points. I'm good to go. But I've had other days where I've had to make over 100 calls to get those wow. eight points. So you never know. You don't know how hard right. it's going to be. But that's – ah. once you get that in your mind, you sit down right away, and you get it done. And then the rest of the day, you're just – you're doing – I mean, you're not doing whatever the heck you want. But right, you right. can relax. The pressure is off. You did your job. You filled your funnel. 
Now go do whatever it is you feel like you got to do. But I think so many people hate the rejection that they'll do anything to get out of prospecting. But I think if people call prospecting instead of prospecting, if you call it the funnel filler, yeah, yeah, then yeah, you yeah. have to admit I didn't do anything to fill my funnel today. That sounds pretty crappy. But if you say I didn't prospect today, oh, I'll just do it tomorrow. So you just got to get into that mindset of just do your little bit. And really, eight conversations is not that challenging. Yeah, I love that. I've seen you talk about that on your uh, Instagram feed a little bit. And so if you want to see yeah, a little man. bit more of that, uh, follow Joe. Just Google that on Instagram and or go into Instagram and just type Joe yeah. Rosen. You'll, you'll see him talk about that all the time. I love it because you, you, you hold yourself accountable by going on social as well, which I think is also a brilliant thing to do, if not – for anybody else, you, right? If yeah. one person or zero people looked at it, all it matters is you're showing up for yourself. Yeah. So why don't you uh, roll us into now the moment okay. where we start Let's making some calls, rolling. talking to some people. <clears throat> <laughs> Hold on one second. Bud, what's up? I got a kid in here. That's cool. Hey, you can grab that and go up there, but you got to go, bud. This is life, man. What do you do? You want you want to bring him on? Just have him say hi to everybody. Hey, you want to come say hi? Who is it? It's it's Justin with Red X. Want to say hi? Hi. Hi. This is Mila, man. She's my little. She doesn't do any cold calling, but she supports me when I do cold calling. Yeah. She watches my number board. How many points do I get over there every day? Do you know? Uh, On my number board, right around the corner. She has no idea. She doesn't care at all. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Truth. Yeah. All right, grab the computer. Get out of here. Okay, bye-bye. Kids. Bye. He said bye. All right, close the door, please. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate it. All right, here we go. For real right. this time. What kind of show do you have if you don't have an interrupt? Right. Okay, let me figure out how to... Uh, it doesn't matter. I'm not going to be able to see your screen. So if you're telling me something, you got to verbally say it. Okay, so right now, man, I just got like seven calls. Uh, okay, so the, I'm gonna. The only thing is, when you get a, if you get someone's number or email, yeah, address, yeah, yeah. put us on, put us on mute, so you're not broadcasting that out to everybody else. Last one. Can you Shout hear out to Steve Adika. What up, Steve? Thanks for joining. We'll get your question answered in a little bit. Let's get you rolling. <clears throat> Okay, here we go. <clears throat> can you hear the ringing? I can hear the ringing. Okay, cool. <clears throat> Eastern time, your time. That's also good to know because it's... Uh, I'll leave one voicemail, but then I'm just going to skip through the voicemails after that, just so people can see. Uh, do you ever use the uh, voicemail feature inside of Vortex and Storm? No, I haven't. I, I know about it, but the only reason I don't do it is because I want to say, hey, Sheila, or hey, Bob, or whatever. Um, but I've thought about it. What do you think? Is it worth it? Should you do it or not do it? Is it worth it to say their name? Hello. We are not available now. And next. Would you no, use it or would you? Go ahead. I would try to come up with a valuable enough. I think there's a way to craft a message in a way that without the name, there's yeah. value in it for people to reply. <clears throat> And so that would be the, the mailbox is full and there is not enough. Yeah. And even with the subdivision, I mean, I could just say the subdivision and that adds quite a bit of custom to it, you know? Yeah. I mean, the most important thing you're going to say isn't the person's name. That's not the most valuable part of the yeah. delivery. So I would, I would craft something that speaks to the reason and value why they'd want to call back. <clears throat> hey, Robert. Hey, this is Joe Rosen with Keller Williams. How you doing? Hey, well, I'm just enjoying this sunny day, uh, but I don't want to waste your time. I'll, 
I'll get right to it. Uh, I see you're on Shoreview Drive there in the Cascades, and there was a home right down the street for me that had sold 10 days ago in the Cascades. I was just calling to see if there's anything in the world I could do for you. No, nah, I'm not going anyplace. Okay. If you were to do something down the road, is there a realtor you'd use? Well, if I did decide, I'll... Okay, fair enough. Well, i tell you what. <laughs> okay. How would you feel about me staying in contact with you between now and whenever you do decide to do something? Um, I got your number. If I decide, I'll, I'll give you a call. All right. Well, I appreciate your time, sir. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Uh, yep. Have a good one. So there, little coaching point, I should not have said, how would you feel if? I think that was right. a poor way to say that. I should have just said. Um, can, can I have? I'll give you this. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, hey, I'll, can I contact you in the future for some ambiguous thing about someone you just <laughs> got a call from? Yeah, no. Slightly no. <clears throat> Good self-awareness there, Joe. Well, I'm aware when I make my mistakes. So easy to coach. Hey, Miss Donahue. Yeah. Hey, this is Joe Rosen with Keller Williams. How you doing? Uh-huh. With Keller Williams, right down by the PGA Golf Course there? I'm, I'm actually calling because I see you're on Shoreview there in the Cascades, and there was a home right down the street from you that had sold in the Cascades 10 days ago. I was just calling to see if there's anything in the world I could help you with. <laughs> I, I can understand. I can understand that. If you were to do something, is there a realtor that you'd use? Uh, well, we Holy smokes! 15. It's we're a beautiful area. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, I tell you what. Last okay, question. Would you mind if I stayed in contact with you between now and whenever you do decide to do something? I lost her. I'm talking to nobody. Uh, mm -hmm. Speaking of past live prospectors who watch this show, uh, uh, wait for uh, Stefan Adika asks, uh, what time do you start your dialing usually and about how many hours do you put into each calling session? Me? Yep, you. I literally start whenever my first opening of the day is. And I, I haven't done this yet, but one of my uh, goals for this week is I'm going to start just putting two hours every single day, Monday through Friday, on my schedule for prospecting. Um, and then if I've got to move it, I've got to move it, but that two hours doesn't go away. So to answer your question, um, I, I don't do a time. I have to get my eight points. Um, but I'll start it as early as nine o'clock. Usually I've got a coffee in the morning, so I'll come back and do it around 10, 11 o'clock. And if I don't get my eight points, uh, and I've got some sort of midday appointment, cause I almost always have a lunch, I will come back at one, two o'clock and finish again. I, I'm well aware that the best time to do it is either after or during lunch or after people get home from work. But I, I would trump that and say the best time to do it is the time you're actually going to do it. And I know that a lot of times if I plan to do it at the best time, which is five, six o'clock at night, uh, if anything comes up, which things come up in the real estate world, I'm done. I'm not going to make those calls. So for me, I do them as quickly as I can in the morning. And my whole point system is based on how many conversations I have. It's not based on time. It's not based on calls. So I have to get in my conversations. I might have to make more calls or take a little bit more time at 9, 10, 11 o'clock than I would if I did it at 5 o'clock, but I just don't care. I just got to get those eight calls in. Does your mood or energy play at all into when and how you make those calls? Yeah, heck yeah, it does. I am a morning person, big time. I mean, it's 4 o'clock right now. I'm, I'm just amped up all the time. But if you see me at 7, 8 o'clock tonight, I'm not the guy that I am at 7, in, at seven o'clock in the morning. My wife won't even talk to me. She's like, dude, leave me alone. You're crazy. So I'm just, I'm just on fire, man. So if I get on the phones at nine, 10 o'clock, I'm crushing it. But if I do it at, I don't know why I'm so amped up today. This is not normally how I am at four o'clock PM, 
But if I do it at uh, four, five, six o'clock at night, I just don't have the energy. So I'd rather have the energy at a time that's not as good than have 80% of the energy at a time that's better. That's me. That, I'm not saying that's, that's what, the right that's, way. That, that's where I, I thought you were going. I just wanted to have you say it versus me. <laughs> So I got two conversations out of eight already. That's pretty good. Yeah. And I already got a point from earlier, so I'm going to get five points at least. I'm a fiddler too, man. I could not do this without fiddling with something. I got a little Rubik's Cube. I don't even know how to solve a Rubik's Cube. I just sit and play with it all day, but I know that we're on... Uh, yeah, I just I feel I like fiddle, man. I feel like twirling something here. I'm a little kid. Well, now I got a pen, so I'm just playing with my pen. <laughs> Meh. All right, let's keep going. I get so bummed out when it's not a person. You have a favorite energy drink? Is it coffee? I'm embarrassed to say what it is. It's a four shot mocha hot. Ooh. Don't yeah. be embarrassed. Dude, I. Hey, Raymond. Hey, thank you. Oh, are are you over in the Cascades there? Yeah, I saw. Oh, I was actually calling because I saw that there was a home right down the street from Tuscane Trail that had sold ten days ago. I was just calling to see if there's anything in the world I could help you with. Okay. If you were to do something down the road, is there a realtor you'd use? <laughs> okay. Sure, that makes sense. Well, I tell you what. Last question: Would you mind if I stayed in touch with you between now and whenever you do decide to do something? Okay. Well, I sincerely appreciate your time, sir. Okay. All right. You. Yeah. Have a good one. Bye -bye. Thank you. Bye now. We're having a hard time hearing uh, some of the calls. Are you muting that? Or are you? Are you? No, that guy was really quiet. I was having a tough time hearing that one. I'm gonna get this a little bit closer. Let's see how this one works. You can hear the ringing, right? I can hear the ringing. Money. We'll get it. That's those mistakes I love right there, but we fix them. Will he get... Hello. Hey, Richard. Hello. Yes. Hey, this is Joe Rosen with Keller Williams. How you doing? You want? Well, I'm actually calling because I see you're on Tuscane there in the Cascades, and there was a home right down the street from you that had sold in the Cascades. Let's see, it was 10 days ago. Just calling to see if there's anything in the world I could help you with. Okay. Well, I tell you what, if you were to do something down the road, is there a real trick? Nope, I'm gone. Could you hear that one? Yeah, that was great. Okay, cool, man. Dude, right there, that's the scariest thing you've got. Nope, hang up. Not scary. Who picks your guys' quotes every day that come up here? There's a... Uh... Kind of like the Wizard of Oz, behind the scene, there's a guy behind a guy behind a guy. I want that job. Yeah, yeah. How do we get a Joe Rosen quote up there? Send one in. Okay, I will. Po po post, it, uh, post it on Facebook, uh, Facebook. Post it on Instagram. Okay. Maybe we, maybe I'll we tell should have you a quote guys. contest. <laughs> yeah, uh, I like quotes. it. That'd be fun. Quote contest. Who wants to put some customer uh, from customers? <laughs> That's a good idea. Remind me at the end, and I'll share the funniest audio clip I've ever gotten from somebody before. Hello? Hey, Eileen. I think you've got the wrong number. Oh, are you in the Cascades on Tuscane there? And who are you? I'm Joe Rosen. I'm with Keller Williams. And I, I was just calling because I saw that there was a home, and it was, it looks like a couple blocks down from yours that had sold 10 days ago. I was just calling to see if there's anything in the world I could help you with. 
Okay. I'm fine. Thank you very much. Yeah, absolutely. Bye -bye. If you were to do something down the road, is there a realtor you'd use? Nope. Click. Click. <clears throat> We're at five conversations already. This is a piece of cake, man. <clears throat> hey, Mr. Lisi. Are you in Sun Terrace Circle? Uh, no, I'm not. Oh, I got the wrong number. I apologize. Uh, why is that? I oh, you did? Well, I was just calling because I wanted to let the neighborhood know that there was a home that had sold there 10 days ago. Yeah, are you still in Port yeah, no, St. Lucie? Like oh, you did, okay. Uh, we're... Four we're Piers. I like that area. Yeah. You like it up there? Oh, absolutely. Okay, all right. Well, let me ask you, if, if you were to do something, is there a realtor you'd use? Okay, well, my intent... Well, Oh, I love that area, too. I don't blame you one bit. Well, I appreciate your time, sir. Thank you. Right. Have a good one. Yep, bye now. Bye. You hearing these all right? I'm there. Yep, I can hear them good. Perfect. I hear them good. Hey, Miss Nelson. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you on Tuscan Trail? What? Are you, are you in the Cascades? Are you in the Cascades there? No. Okay. Well, I apologize. I got the wrong number. All right. Thank you. I like how you start off, uh, it's like you really kind of call the person that, like, you know, Miss So-and-so, is that you? Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah you, they definitely feel like you've addressed them. Yeah, I've looked at the numbers if you just get into. Hey, hey Miss Haley? Hello? Is, is this Miss Haley? No, you got the wrong number. Oh, I apologize. Are you on Sun Terrace Circle there? You, okay, I, I think I had a wrong name on here. I'm actually calling because there was a home right down the street that had sold 10 days ago. I was just calling to see if there's anything I could help you with. You mean as a realtor? Yeah. No, I'm... Okay, with all right. The... Are you I'm with Keller Williams right down by the PGA Golf Course there. What's that, maybe 10 minutes south of you, 15? Yeah. Yeah, no, for now. Okay. If you were to do something, is there a realtor you'd use? Uh, that's on my use is playing room. All right. Were you happy with them? Yeah. Okay. She, uh, she's up there no more. <laughs> well, that's good. I just want to make sure everybody's got a realtor they love. And if you've got one, then, uh, then uh, my job here is taken care of. All right. Well, thank you much oh, for your I time. Ask you a question. What, what did they, uh, that price go so I've got a couple that have sold within uh, so much of a distance. All of these have sold in the last 30 days. I'll, I'll read out a couple addresses here for you. There's Aqua Vista Lane, Cool Water, Springview Loop, Sunview Way, and then there was another one on Sunview Way. That was not the, you said some stairs. It, it was a couple blocks down from you. Yeah. The, so these are all probably okay. between 0.3 and 0.4 miles away from you is what it's telling me here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No, uh, yeah, right now. I got a very little thing I love that area, so I don't blame you one bit. All right. Well, thank you, my yeah. friend. I appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. Have a great day. Okay. Yep, bye now. So when you put these into the system, what do you mark them as? What are some of the things and notes you take in between these calls and after them? 
if I leave a voicemail, I'll put voicemail. Uh, if they don't pick up, I'll put, I forget what it's called. Let me look here. What is it? No pickup? No answer. Um, if they're not interested, I'll hit not interested. And then if you've got, say you got three numbers and it was the first one that wasn't interested, I'll hit the other two is not interested also. So I don't keep calling the same person back that already told me to get lost. Right. Um, right. But that's it. I don't use, I know you guys have way more features than I use, but I don't use this. I've got a separate CRM that I use if they're interested and I need to call them back. I don't use this. Um, I use uh, the Keller Williams command that we have just because there's other marketing things that I can do with it. And maybe I can do it through your system too. I'm just not intelligent enough, your system. And then uh, if I get an email, I punch that into constant contact. So I don't use this. Can I use this as a CRM? Like, could I use this as a, will it tell me on January 3rd, hey, here are the seven people you need to call on January 3rd? There are, so there are things I can talk about and there's things I can't at the moment. The things I can't, <laughs> okay. The, the, thing, the things I can talk about right now are you can use the follow-up feature to be reminded yeah. in there on who to follow up and when, and that will trigger a response to notify you when that person needs to be reconnected with or followed up with. And so if you've taken notes and put it inside of the system, then that should give you everything you need to, from a uh, callback perspective or next oh, actions see. perspective. Yes. I see you got a notes section. I, I did not even know you had that. Yeah. You guys have, I guarantee I'm using like 20% of what you guys have. This is amazing. And then there are some things that people should be paying closer attention to here in the coming year that will address exactly what you talked about even more. But kind of like Fight Club, you're not really supposed to talk about things. Yeah, and, that's pretty uh, cryptic, but I like it, my man. So yeah, I'll, I'll leave I'll leave a little bit out there to be to be uh, anticipated upon. Am I really dark on the screen? You know, it did get actually a little bit darker. I don't know if your lighting changed a little bit, but like behind you, it looks like the sun's now shining. So I think maybe your uh, your lighting, the the outside lighting changed. So yeah, then, that's probably what it is. Yeah, that's a little better. Okay, uh, let's keep rolling. What am I at here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. So I've already got my four points. Plus, I got a point before because I did showings this morning. I'm at five points. It's that easy, folks. Just get on the phones, man. You know the um, you you hit start again on the on the calling right? Yeah. Because I can't hear the dialer right now, so I just don't want to interrupt you. If. This is Stephanie. Hey Stephanie, are you on Sun Terra Circle? I I'm asking. No, that was a horrible. They threw me off there. I'm not used to that. Okay, there's no not to do it. You, I am on the dialer. You're not bugging me at all when you talk and it's ringing. Okay, great. I, yeah, I don't want to. As long as you don't mind me talking over you. Rather you talk over me than me talk over you. <laughs> yeah, I try to paint a perspective for people because they hear about the point system and I don't want them to get a false impression based on one session of you prospecting and hearing, oh, he got his Hey, Mr. Points. Miller. Hey, this is Joe Rosen with Keller Williams. How you doing? From where? I'm with Keller Williams, right down by the PJ Golf Course there. Uh huh. Yeah, I'm actually calling because I see that you're on Sun Terrace Circle there, and there was a home right down the street from me that had sold ten days ago. I was just calling to see if there's anything in the world I could help you with. No, uh, yeah, I, I just bought in uh, bought there half ago. Oh, you did? Okay. If you were to do something down the road, yeah, is there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 okay, that's well. You're you're with the right crew. Uh, I like that. Were you happy with them? Yeah. Good. Uh, he, he, he location, but he, uh, uh, you know, we, we did the uh, I did the closing over. No, no, I I I, I had gone to your office over by the. Uh, with Patch. On the other side, of Max Bob. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, Can I ask who it was? Who your realtor was? What was it? No, okay. I don't think it was Shannon then. Shannon's the only one I know down there. Yeah, no, it was older, older gentleman. Okay. 
Okay. All right. Cool. Well, that's good. I'm glad you're happy there. I really uh, I appreciate your time, sir. No problem. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I really like him. I just went down to Key West with him the other day. Okay. All right. Well, thank you for your time. I appreciate it. And if there's ever anything you need, feel free no to call problem. Keller Williams. We'll take care of you. All right. Thank you, sir. I'm glad. Have a good one. Thanks. Yep. Bye, bye now. Boom. You were saying about not giving uh, false impressions. Are you talking about the fact that I got through these calls so quick? Uh, well, that and you get your points for the day, but it doesn't do you any good to get points for one day not show up not show up not show up go off and try to get points again not show up not show up not show yes. up and so i've seen with so many different prospectors out there there's a common theme and trend that connects them all and obviously consistency is the word how often that that you know that's kind of up for debate but um no. you know Every five, you know, if you should be measuring your points or progress. Maybe, maybe it's another way to look at it is, you know, maybe five points a day, but like, is it, you know, 20 points a week? You know what I'm saying? Like there's, there's the daily commitment of showing up yeah. and then there's more of a, like, what's the, the, if you really want to feel connected to the results, it's five, uh, whatever the yeah. points are per day times, however many days on average. Yeah, that you need so, to show up in order to have those points really register. Because I'm, I'm just trying to avoid that little like, oh, if I just do five points, I'm good. And then people are kind of just now waiting for something magical to happen. Where yeah. it's No, you got to get another five and another five. And it's the yes. addition of those that adds up. And so could you feed into that a little bit so th those people watching can get a better understanding of how to stack the points? Yeah. So I don't have a weekly minimum, but I, I do work Monday through Saturday. I take Sundays off, right? I have to get four points every day. Some days I get 30 points. Some days I get four points. Some days I get seven points. But I'm telling you, and this is the monstrous thing, you have to be one million percent committed to getting four points. Dude, four points is so sick. I just, how long did it take me to get four points? It took me 20 minutes, 30 minutes, whatever it was. It was nothing. You're right, it was right. nothing. If you can't commit to that, I guarantee you're going to fail. I guarantee you're going to fail. And I'm not saying you got a cold call, but you have to get in front of people and you have to talk about real estate and you have to get rejected and you have to be okay with it or you are absolutely going to fail. I don't care who you are. And, but I've gotten to the point, like I'm so committed. I've gotten to the point where I've had deals going south and I've had showings where it's only worth one point to, sh I maybe I got to show them eight houses. That's one point. So I've had to get home at seven o'clock at night with my one point. And I get on the phones and I get my other three points. But if I didn't have the point system, I wouldn't do it. I would have said, man, that was a rough day. And I'd have eaten my dinner and I'd have sat on the couch. So this keeps me on it every single day. You have love to it. do it every single day. And here's another thing. This is my perspective. I'd love to hear how you feel about this. Sure. Uh, I used to, and I still project, but it's it's. I look at them as fluffy goals. My closings, my commissions, my listings. Sure, I've got goals, but those are not the goals I focus on because I don't control mm. those goals. I have no idea if I'm going to have 50 listings next year, 100 listings. Next year. I have no clue. I know the work I'm going to put in, but I can absolutely guarantee I'm going to make so many calls or so many minutes are going to be invested in calls or I'm going to hit so many points. Whatever it is, it's, it's filling the funnel that I control. I control that. I control how many opens I hold. I control how many calls I make. I do not control how many closings I have, how much commission I make, how many listings I get. And I think too many people get caught up in that and then they get frustrated because they're not hitting their numbers. And then it, it's kind of a downward spiral of negativity, mm. you know? And I think quit focusing on the stuff you don't control. Get your butt on the phones or get your butt on the doors or get your butt in the open houses, whatever it is you want to do, but just do it and don't worry about what comes out of the bottom of the funnel. You fill that funnel full enough, Stuff is going to come pouring out of it eventually. It just is. I, I, there's nothing to disagree on with you on that at all. Uh, that's, I think, the goals are important, but you can influence them. The things you control yeah. are your daily actions and habits. And it's only in the present moment, the day to day, nope. where you get to adjust, you get to make the decisions. And 
the wins are nothing more than a, if you look at the goals, the goals are nothing more than if it's a yearly goal, 365 days of that particular set of actions and behavior. Yes. And that's what really adds up to the goal. It's not the, oh my gosh, you know, the, the one sale that you need to make or break it. You're not looking for one sale, right? You're not yeah. looking for, you know, one listing. You're looking, you should be focused on the the hundred numbers, right? The, the yes. precursors to, that add up to all that stuff because, and, and that's kind of training. That's the training. That's the mindset stuff that helps people show up every day and make a little adjustments here and there. Yep. Yep. hundred percent. Just focus on that funnel, baby. All right. I'm going to get her back going. Yeah. While we wait, um, do you have a sheet that has the point system laid out? And if so, would that be something you'd be willing to share with us? I have not what you're talking about, but I do have two things I'll show you here in a second. Uh, let me hit dispositions on all these. Okay. Um, so give me one second here. Now I can see it's a backdrop. Okay, so I've got two things. Um, I should show you the, the fun thing first. Oh man, I'm not gonna be able to see this. I'm gonna show you with the camera, but I might jack this up because I'm not able to see what I'm doing. If you can see right there is my- That's the board. See it? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Right now, for some reason, the lights aren't working, but I'll turn the lights on when I wake up in the morning. And once I put my point up for the day, I turn it off. I put it just like it's an open and closed sign. And uh, so that's that. Um, and then, this is, now I got a tangled wire, that's all right. Okay, so that's that, that's good, okay. Um, and then this, Oh, well, this is going to show is a sheet and you can kind of see the format, but I'll tell you, I'll read it to you. I sure. put the date on there. I track the week that I'm in. So I'm in week 19 right now. That's how I know what week I'm in. And then I've got it blocked into all the different prospecting I do. So with cold calls, I don't just mark down how many calls I made. I marked on the time that I invested. Hmm. So if it's an hour and three minutes, uh, that three minutes is 0 0.05 hours. So I'll write 1.05 hours. And I'll tell you why in a second. Same with expireds, farming, farm mailings versus farm calls. Thank you cards, open houses, expireds. Um, with the open houses, it's not just how many I held. It's not how many people show up. It's also how many door knocks I make before I go. And I always cold call the 50 closest people that morning at nine o'clock. That's great. So I, I track all of that. I track all my social media. I track showings. I track listing appointments. And with all of this stuff, and this is key for me, I track the time that I put into it. So then I've got an annual tracker that, so my wife works with me, right? She's my office manager. I take these suckers, and this is like my timesheet. And I look at it like if I want to get paid for the day, I have to fill this out, and I have to submit it. So I submit it, and then my wife takes it, and she enters it into the annual sheet, right? And then the annual sheet, it's just an Excel spreadsheet that I filled out and it's got all the, the numbers, the equations into it. It tracks for cold calls, how much I'm making per hour. It tracks how much I'm making per hour on open house, it tracks how much I make per hour on expireds. So if you don't like the rejection of cold calls, but you've done it for six months, you've done open houses, which are cuddly and cozy, everybody likes open houses, yeah. But you see that you're making $211.33 an hour for cold calls, and you're making $72.13 an hour for open houses. Would you rather feel cuddly, or would you rather make three times more? Because if you'd rather wake, make three times more, get rid of the open houses and do more cold calls with that time. And, hey, I'm not, I'm, you're Red X, and I love you, so I'm pumping you up a little bit here. But if the opposite is true, if you're making 70 bucks on Red X and you're making 200 bucks on, on open houses – you suck at cold calls. Quit doing cold calls, man. You fit open houses. Go do open houses. I suck at open houses. I know my numbers, and I know that I just, for whatever reason, don't do well with open houses. But I crush cold calling. So 
I'm not trying to pitch cold calling. I think it's best for most people just because it's so de- – like how many calls did I just make? I just went through 44 calls. I don't even know how much time it was, but 44 calls. Yeah, we're – yeah, maybe 40 minutes. Yeah, but a lot of that, so it's just BS. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's true. So it's really um, – you want to track the time because then you can tell how much you're making and you can make good business decisions. Your first year, this year for me, it's all a guess. I'm purposely doing things that I think so might smart. not work out that well, but always be testing, man. Yes. So I'm tr- I always try four things at a time and I commit to it for six months. And then I, and I just shut the brain off, man. I just do it. I just execute after six months. I sit down with my wife and I say, read me those numbers. She reads me those numbers. We cut whatever thing four out is out. And then we mm-hmm. add something else and it doesn't matter what it is. It can be the next trendy thing. It can be something I've just wanted to do for a while. Then I try that for six months along with the three that are working. And then after six months, I cut out whatever isn't working and I add another thing. That way when that new trendy TikTok, Instagram, whatever it is pops up and you're like, man, I want to try it. Cool. Try it. Here you go. It's a fourth year right. prospecting time. Do it. And I just do it. You got to have time. You got to have money to, in- to invest and you got to have time. Yeah. It sounds like yeah. you've got a good system where you've got the things that make the money that give you the opportunity to test the time. Yeah. And I'll tell you guys, I share everything. And I've got a whole bunch of stuff that I made. A lot of it's not pretty. Red X is beautiful, man. If you haven't looked at their system, it's gorgeous. All the stuff that's in there, it, it just it's so systematic. It's beautiful. That's why they right? hired me. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> but uh, my stuff isn't pretty, man. It's all Excel spreadsheets and stuff like that. But if you email me, right? Go find me on Instagram and you send me a little voice message, whatever. I don't care how you find me. Um, I will send you anything you ask for. My email is findafloridahouse at gmail.com. Uh, on Instagram, I'm the Joe Rosen Show. On Facebook, I'm the Joe Rosen Show. You can find me anywhere. Ask me for anything and I will give it to you. I'm an open book. And uh, maybe after our session right now, we'll talk. Maybe there's a way to get that out to the Red X community through some of our channels as well. Yeah, whatever you guys need, man. Like I said, I'm an open book. and and my sole goal, other than my business, I want agents to crush it, man. And I just want them to succeed. I think they all overthink it. A lot of them overthink it. And I just want to like just, just build a plan, shut up, and execute it. Just do it. Quit talking so much and do it, man. Well, you've made my job real easy here. I think this is a perfect opportunity for us to wind down. You know, we're at about the hour mark right now. The purpose of these sessions are to demonstrate the mindset, the philosophy, the actions, the live prospecting itself, all rolled into one to give people a demonstration that no matter where you are in the country, where you are in your business, that there's a way to do it. There's a way to get better at it. And just by watching others gives people the confidence and clarity to take action. And, uh, for whatever reason, seeing people take risks and demonstrating courage, it spreads. So, yep. um, you know, this is the opposite of fear. Maybe there's a cool way to build that into our show, but uh, I call this the place for prospecting. And so I always appreciate seeing your energy live, seeing your energy through the videos, through Instagram. We're going to have you back again. Can't wait to hear where you are in another six, 18 months. Uh, yes. Obviously, you've made some really smart decisions you know, surrounding yourself with great it's people. Yeah. It's not all luck. You know, so you've, you've, <laughs> you've done something, you know, surrounding yourself with great people. Uh, Ricky Carruth, obviously uh, a Maybe. great person in our real estate, in our in our industry. And so uh, I hope people watching this right now can feel a sense of connection to us, connection to you, uh, to Ricky, to other people like him. Because, again, prospecting can feel lonely, but you don't have to be alone in doing it. So I hope uh, you can tune into people like us anytime, ask questions, reach out. We're all here for you. Uh, just It's up to you to show up for yourself. But when you do, we'll support you any way we can. I'm Justin Zimmerman from the Red X content team. Thank you, Joe, for joining with us. Thank you, Haley Andrew, the whole Red X it. content team. Sales support, everyone who makes all the products great here. And uh, if you're not following us on Instagram, behind the scenes stuff there, follow us there. And uh, all the other places, if you type in Red X, YouTube, Red X, Facebook, those are the great channels. And of course, cannot leave out uh, the Red X blog. Our newsletter goes out. People write back all the time saying, thank you so much for sending this to me. It's exactly what I needed to hear right now. I don't know how we do it, but it seems to work. We get back those replies all the time. And so that's probably the best place to go right after this is the Red X blog. Join the newsletter if you're not already on it. And you won't miss anything that we put out 
uh, especially great opportunities to meet people like Joe. And so thank you. Thanks again, Joe. I'm Justin Zimmerman. Yeah. See you all next time.